good afternoon guys uh, or good evening it's uh, march 8 2022 today is wednesday and today again we had a powell speech right so this two days tuesday and wednesdays we had his speech so tomorrow it will be a calm day you know no powell talking or anything then thursday we have a noon from payroll another big event right so friday's closing is important okay now for ES 7277 right, and NQ 12,018 to 52 are now line in sent for this last week buyers. Right? So this is a running statement and you can see price is still holding above this area. Okay, So that means buyers are still in control in general. Yeah, day trading it can go up and down, right? But due to Powell switch, correct? But they still have a control. Okay. Now, ES 396776, right? 84, Same level I gave you also. The same levels as yesterday, okay? Because nothing is changed. Price is just doing big pop. So, today, due to Powell speech, we are neutral. Buyer still has a chance today if they hold it above this area. NQ buyers will have to hold above this area. They can still push the price higher break below both both of this level then sellers will gain full control like yesterday till then buyers still can defend it right so 6776 1841 right now look here see that's why every day the plan is important you know during the day trading time frame yes we can trade trades around levels right but because the way price moves see this is difficult price action if you look at it there is no trade actually to be honest you know when you see like this there is no trade there is no trend actually look at this right so but you can see a pattern here that buyers are holding it 67.74 right look at this so this was my pre-market note right backup buyers I put a note there in the chart in the morning when I shared with them it's a very good area right so 67 to 76 see that see price was getting rejection but you can see it this area was holding look at this see so as I said right in the market in the pre in the pre in the trading plan that buyers still have a control NQ this area see NQ didn't even get here see so NQ is even more powerful than ES right but NQ, I had put a note here when I shared the chart with the guys in, and girls in the Discord. This is the note I put it. You know, I said yesterday's low past hunting level, which is this area, and today's globex low equal to preferred bias. And look at the range I gave 140 to 111. Look at today's low 111. See? And 140, only during the Powell speech started 10 o'clock, it below, it went below it. but during entire day it held 140 see that is how the powerful levels are you know so now you understand you know all the thought process that goes into the levels now backup uh, yesterday's backup bias area see this was yesterday's backup bias area I turned them into preferred seller area and you can see it price poke above it but couldn't survive see so can we short here no now there was a trade here on the short side but you don't want to short it why because look at this down bounce from the support again bounce from the support then held it here then held it here and went high right so it was test stepping up slowly making new highs new highs new highs so that's why you don't want to short it look at uh, internals they were not trending down but they were holding it right same thing here look at ES look at NYSE AD see Every time when price makes a new high, it was making new high also. See that? Here, here, here. See? So that's why no shorts. But you can take a profit because of NQ's divergence. Right? Because EA, NQ was making new highs. But ES was like falling apart. It was not even able to go above Globex high. But NQ was like keep moving higher and higher. So that's a divergence. You know? So that's why you have to take profit. You know? So, but anyway, in Discord, in the morning, 
apart from yes see yesterday i gave vowels labels right those labels are still valid but in on top of it i also gave another label today you know specific labels to watch uh hold on so let me see if i can pull it out you know right here so 902 right so 9 o'clock when price was somewhere around here right so i said 90 84 4002 67 are keys to watch at 930 and 10 that will guide us right i want to see friday's closing either above all or below all in general that's the idea you know now so 90 84 4002 67 67 so means this area so this area right one circle similar yesterday remember i gave you a circle for power speech the levels so this is the first circle right 4002 see that's a high of the day second circle 90s where did it open at 90 see i told them at 9 o'clock to watch it 930 open happens to be 90 so now you know 90 is important right and look at it see 90s today was not clean though right but you can see it see here see the 90s rotation down up down 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 up 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 down again up down again up right now 84 was another level which is this 84 poke up 84 touch up 84 touch up here couldn't get there 84 down 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 acted as a resistance then went down again acted as a resistance so i'm showing you how it plays right but when you see the levels like ping ponging those levels are not readable you know so you know, i'm just showing you the importance where the rotations are where you have to involve you know so now so what i did then right so i pretty much didn't trade today you know i did try to trade it in the morning even though i saw see 90s i was watching it first bounce i said okay good let's see how it moves right then again slice through it then again it was hesitating then 90 is useless for me to trade okay then i was waiting for 84 then price slice through 84 right during powell speech right so during powell speech i cannot trade so i was watching it then i said okay now it is interesting because it hits here now see that was a long right there i didn't take it because it was powell driven move right like right out the open at 10 10 o'clock when even he didn't even started talking so i don't want to take a chance here and right? because it price may go down like yesterday right so but it was a valid level so i was interested in to see what where what it does can it bounce can it go back above 84 you know that was my first idea so it it bounced right then it went above 84 right that's where i took the trade right at 87 here my stop was i said below 85 right now technically price went to 84 right below 85 but see when i say discord folks knows already i don't put a hard stop like this you know like this like 85 stop when it is news driven you know especially i watch price you know but 85 is my stop in my mind right so if you look at it here so this was my entry see here price didn't even close below 85 see that first time touch 85 closed here second time it opened there like poke there but then slice up see so technically if you put a hard stop it stopped up but i you, i don't put it you know because i was watching these things you know because you can see the momentum is here to the upside internals are ad is rising there is nothing wrong you know so i was holding it then it went down slice through it right and then went up so i was holding it holding it right i was targeting this 4002 level but damn thing you know went to the morning high like this i want to see price going through it 
you know because it was 10 12 right so look at NQ see here NQ did not go higher correct so that was a warning sign right there but I say you know what yes is like bounce very nicely it is still rising everything is good all it has to do is what poke over like five point right and it's a news driven stuff right so it can easily go there so I held it but there was a warning sign here right it was a divergence then price came down right so I still held it then it up went higher okay fine now at this point onwards I don't want to see candle going through at least middle of this okay so the moment it went here I was out so I cut my trade right there okay now at this point I was not confident that whether I should trade it or not because now I know both sides are active even though buyers are controlling or holding both sides are active so now I have to be very careful but I still have that left uh, left over thing 4002 as a target you know? it's unlikely that it couldn't reach there so I was watching 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 right then again it came down right now I was thinking okay now let us see what happens here so 84 held price went higher again this time it was it poke above it now I am more interested so but anyway so it was what time 1025 so look at 1025 NQ was right here so NQ was still divergence mode still it was not making new high right so I was watching I didn't do anything then it came down to this 90 area again right so now I was thinking okay so 84 see it bounced from here first support right so I was now making a story here first support fine okay then let's see what it does it, it couldn't get through it fine now it wants to go down let's see if it goes down here but it couldn't 84 held to me you know so now I know 90 held uh, sorry this 67 76 first support held then 84 held right then the next line was what 90 area right 90 84 4002 so now I was interesting to see if 90 holds it then it will definitely go to 4008 you know that was my idea so it came down here right and then 90 held it so the T the, to the T now I, all I wanted to see is what see it sometimes is very interesting you know now I wanted to see what price bouncing above right the same uh, this 93 level remember this that I cut my trade right this so basically I was like carrying forward the trade you know so here right here at 93.50 I took the law now my target is 4002 but I don't want to be greedy now you know because I know how the day is right so the moment it touched here I said I am out right so now uh, actually in this call I put all this thing uh, it's hard to find there are so many messages but anyway this is how I traded it today here you know and then I wanted to see what happens you know if price holds above this 97 it will go higher 4020 even you know the moment price goes below it and held it here I knew that my day is over now so then I said then still I watched the price you know and then again it went higher to this level right at that time I said you know what 1108 right so 1108 you can see it here NQ was making new high now ES was not making new high and this AD was now you know not going higher that's where I said you know what call it a day off now the price is garbage now so I stopped trading right now at the end after 3 o'clock 3.30 you know I traded a SIM account right here so my long was 81 actually right here SIM account okay right here and my NQ's long was right here why because now I was watching price you know so here 84 I was watching and then 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 boom boom it touched here right cut rejection okay then it went below this my intraday line you know? so I shorted it here in same account okay right here now when I shorted it you know I was targeting 67 okay 
but my stop was at 82 three point stop same account okay and then I was watching that it goes there at the end you know? because now entire day you know I try to keep it down keep it down there were four two rejections here right and it was stair stepping down okay like this see that here 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 then here and then rejection right so that's where I shorted it but now it will go here okay so right here I shorted it right here so my stop was at 82 now I didn't put a stop only I put double the contract so I had a two con I had a, so let's say if I had a two contract short here right with stop at 82 two contracts I had a four contract stop and two will go turn it flip it automatically you know? because it was when I shorted it it was like three o'clock so by 3.30 if price couldn't go down and by chance let's say if there is a strong 5 minute candle rising most likely based on see this is like pure math base or pure algorithm stuff you know so entire day that it did like this correct and it couldn't go below this 76 67 at the end of the day when it was like stair stepping down and from here it, when it got a rejection it has a full authority to go down but if it couldn't go down and reverse it most likely it will go higher to this area 97 you know so that's where i took the profit 93 and 97 i actually put that message in this code also you know so here it was automatically flipped and nq i did the same exact thing so nq my short was right around this area you know, around 176 or so my stop was at 185 with double the contract 186 long automatic if it stops out and target is somewhere into this area now 240 243 was my plan area this so 243 i took the exit in nq and es it was same account okay now you want to see the trade number of contract that's the one see that 81 and here 93 that's where I take a screenshot right? and you are the same thing I have to find the screenshot though okay but same account okay uh, I was just playing but it's like it's nothing to do with the reading the price here at this point it's just the algorithm you know based on this movement so all these stuffs I do in same account you know because I don't want to trade live here right but that's all it is you know so but this was the trades but they were not like good 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 trades i would say you know it just we have to poke through the needle to find a trade in this environment you know? because it's a power driven moves the big thing to carry forward is this area held today and you couldn't get down to this and this area held today and we had a higher closing right so tomorrow you know I want to see you know price trading into this range here <laughs> or below this you know so but this is the garbage range but I want to see this thing getting tapped and you probably 300 area this area you know, or this area so we'll see how it goes you know pre-market or overnight will give us hint you know? and that be all for today